So as per usual, I have been digging through the e-waste and I found this. Um, a some sort of a polar sport watch. So probably uh, has a GPS in it and will allow you to upload your running or riding routes to um, some website. But it did not have its charge cable. So my plan is, and I don't know if this is going to work, is so there are four pins there, and I was looking online for a pinout to see if I could find it, but there was no pinout. So my plan is to, um, well, since this, the charging cable plugs into USB, so the maximum voltage you can get out of there is five, um, five volts, and I think USB signaling is five volts too. So it, all of the pins should be five volt compliant or uh, tolerant, so it's not going to um, do any damage. <clears throat> to it if I just probe it um, and I'll limit the current on my power supply and I'll look for a pair of pins that are actually drawing current and I'm going to be guessing that those are the pins that are going to um, do the charging of the battery. Now the battery might be very well dead in this and that's why the person who had it got rid of it but then uh, I think you can actually replace batteries in these. So eh, we'll see. We'll see if my strategy works. So maximum of 900 milliamps, um, which is actually a little high. Let's set it to 500 milliamps, which I think might be USB 3 spec, or USB spec for the most you can draw. Not 100% sure on that. You'd have to check, check the documentation. All right, so let's poke around at pairs of pins and see what we get. Yep. So the left pair of two pins, now what happens if I swap them? And it gets full current draw. But I get only one milliamp that way. Nothing there. One hundred milliamps and backwards is full. Okay, so let's try and get the pair of pins Hey look, it's turning on. Hey <laughs> That worked, kind of. So I kind of thought that these might come in handy at some point, so I ordered myself up some pogo pins. <clears throat> and in order to use these, I think I'm going to mount them into an eraser. And so I will have a little more heft to use as a um, as a connector All right, let's tape that up and uh, see if we can charge the battery. The eraser thing didn't work, but this is what I've come up with. So I'm just going to leave that set for a bit and see if the battery takes a charge. Okay, so now it's drawing just a tiny bit of current. So, yeah, time to pop it off the charger. Okay, so it's been... It's been a week. Well, f 
five days since I have stop, um, since I've uh, charged this battery up, and it looks like now oh yeah back recording paused. And it looks like the watch is working fine. Um, uh, no. And the battery is still up high. So I, somebody just got rid of this because they upgraded to a different watch or they stopped training or something like that. But the fact remains that I do not have a charger for this. But, you know, the nice thing is that on aliexpress and all of the other various auction sites you can get a, a replacement charger for it which will have the correct pinout for the uh, d plus d minus which i haven't figured out um on the pinout but i do know that the um the top pin oh i forgot i'll have to review the footage but anyways you got either positive on the top or negative on the bottom anyways the leftmost two pins are power and you can determine what the power is depending on how much current draw you've got when you throw a power supply on it and since all of these are five volt then you don't have to worry too much just as long as you limit your current on your power supply you can ring out those those terminals so yeah um saved from the scrap heap of history and i don't know if i'll even use this um, I haven't tried the GPS. I've only had it in the basement, so it doesn't actually pick up a signal down here, but I'll, you know, give it a try um, elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's a pretty successful uh, salvage out of the dumpster. Anyways, yeah, hopefully if somebody is trying to ring out pins on this, that gives you an idea of what the, uh, what the pinouts are. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.